Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about an exciting new update for Samsung Galaxy smartphones, and this update should apply to most Samsung Galaxy smartphones that have the screen recorder tool and the screenshot options. And what I'm talking about is the screen recorder option right here, and of course, the screen recorder option right here that you find in the control panel, or if you go into your settings and you go into your advanced features, basically on any Samsung smartphone, you go over here and this whole suite gets a nice little update including the screenshot toolbar so i'm going to show you what the differences are this one does not have the update this one has the latest update let me show you what the differences are but before that uh, i made it very easy for you guys to actually update yours as well so all you do is to click the link down below that's going to take you directly to my website all you do is scroll down a little bit okay and there's a download link right over here. You click on it, it's gonna take you to the application in the Galaxy Store, and all you do is tap on Update to get the latest features. Now let me show you what's happening over here. So Screen Recorder allows you to record your screen, so when I tap on it normally, uh, what happens is, let's tap on Screen Recorder. Now what's gonna happen is you get the option to use the mic or not or whatever, and you say Start Recording. So now it's recording the actual screen, it does a countdown and then it starts the recording process. You get a toolbar here that you can use to stop the recording. And also when you pull this down, you'll see a little uh, notification bar also giving you options to stop the recording, okay? So let that record over there. And let me start this recorder right over here. So when I tap on this one, I'm just gonna say no sound. I'm gonna tap on recording and now I can skip the countdown as you can see. So let me stop the recording. Again, I'm gonna tap on this guy here, and I can tap Start Recording and skip the 3, 2, 1 countdown to directly start recording the screen. And again, I have a toolbar, but on the toolbar, I now have a pause button. So I can pause my screen recording here. I have to stop it all together, record another one, and then stitch them together. With this one, I can pause, take a breath, and continue my work. So if I tap on this, it records. As you can see, that's nine seconds, 10 seconds, when I pause it, it pauses at 11 seconds, all right? And then if I tap on record, it starts to record uh, right away. And of course, when I'm done, I tap on stop. So that's the toolbar upgrade for the screen recorder. Now let's take a look at what's happening with the actual screenshot toolbar. And I do want to give a massive shout out to my Twitter follower, uh, Adnan Saeed, who gave me this tip. So thank you, Adnan, and if you guys have any tips and tricks, just send me a DM on Twitter, and I'll make a video and give you guys a shout out. Now with the screenshot toolbar, let's take a quick screenshot over here. So let me just, so let me go over here and take a screen capture with my screen capture tool here, or you can just use the key combination, and you get this thing at the bottom, you tap on that icon to edit your screenshot. Now as you can see at the bottom, we have three icons, then we have share and save uh, on the top. And I can tap on this to write on the actual screen. This is the old version. Here's the new version. So let me take a screenshot. This time I'll just use the button combination. So I'm gonna tap volume down and power. And then I'm gonna tap on this again. And immediately things look a little bit different. So at the bottom now I have more buttons. I have the undo button here, redo button here, save button here, share button here. And then I have the pen tool and the erase tool right here. So let's say I, I wrote something here, okay, on the screen, and I wanna erase it. I can now erase that by using the erase tool, no problem. Now with this one, you can also erase, but the tool is right here, as you can see, and everything looks a little bit different. This, this looks more like the S Notes application. And then the share button is at the bottom here, okay? And the save button is at the bottom here as well. On this one, we have the undo, redo buttons here, share, save on the top. It's good because now you can use everything with one hand if you so desire. So those are the latest updates on the screenshot recorder tool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button. And also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.